welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is chinelo and i make youtube videos i wanted to say i'm an international student studying occupational therapy in the uk but no not anymore so you know, i make videos on youtube that i really like okay so guys do not believe that i had to do this video again because your girl did not turn on her mic guys here yeah, i'm in nigeria as you can see presently in abuja my uncle's house it's just chilling as i came back to nigeria on the 18th of december for some reason, I don't know why I was not vlogging. I would have been able to if I wanted. I came in on the 18th of December. I had an event on the 19th. It was beautiful. I think I was just recording videos, but it would have been nice if I made videos. I know I blame myself, but that's that's by the way. I went back to Enugu on the 20th, guys. I came back to Nigeria for my wedding. And my trad was for December the 23rd. So 20th, I went back to Enugu. Then 21st i was so busy 22nd guys the day before the job guys I was so frustrated god i think i even called my husband i was crying i said jesus christ baby a lot is going wrong my dresses are not ready problem but thank god everything went well i had a small trad a very small intimate trad and then when my friends were there it was beautiful i'm grateful it was beautiful 23rd 24th 25th 26 two days to the wedding guys can you imagine my dress came in 26th of december believe instagram vendors at your own you know with a pinch of salt believe them whatever they say with a pinch of salt anyways my dress came in on the 26th of december and i put this dress on it was a shabby of a dress didn't fit me god guys and this dress had pearls on it when the dress has pearls on it if you want to we call it shape it or slim fit it you have to actually take out the stones and then the beading not stone the beads and then you know do it again thank god for my event planner she really did come through that day like she found she just called a, a designer can you do this for me it did cost us more money but i liked that at least we did that because i would not have loved if i wore the dress to what it was before on 27th i went to her store we started from the beginning we changed the entire you know top and hand of the dress it was meant to be an off shoulder but like i was no longer comfortable wearing the off shoulder we had to put body net and then we did a new when God did for you, he really did for you because he almost cried. I'm like, what is this? This is not what I want. Imagine you see your wedding dress. You are so excited to see it and then you see it. And you're like, what is this? And the, the lady told us she was waiting sending like four days to the wedding. And she sent it two days to the, a week to the wedding. She sent it two days to the wedding. The morning of my wedding, of my wedding, the lady was still doing big work in the hotel. Ah, thank God for everything. When I put the dress on, guys, it was so beautiful. And to think that I always wanted it. A ball dress. I don't know why I wanted a ball dress. Like I'm, I must be mad. And then got to my event plan. I should have mentioned you have a nice body, you have a nice shape. Why not just? Why don't you just wear a mommy dress? You look good in a mommy dress. And I said, eh, Are you serious? And I just took her advice, and that's how I wore mommy dress, guys. Me, I don't even like wearing flea dresses on a norm. Why would I not want a ball dress? My mind is rubbish. But I wore a, a mommy dress and guys, it fitted me. Hey, but like your dress is beautiful. I loved my dress. I felt comfortable in my dress. I felt confident in my dress. Like I put it on, I okay, that's it. This is a full regalia. And I put it on, I was, was happy. There's something about wearing fine clothes, and clothes that you actually like. Guys, you could not have told me anything on that wedding morning. You know? Where are the young men here, Guam? Now tell me I was not a fine girl. Like that particular day, I, I felt beautiful. And I think that's what being a bride does to you. You feel very fine. I felt beautiful. I like like that dress, the outcome of it, I'll put videos. I really did like it. I, I don't even know what to do with that dress as I'm looking at it now, but we'll figure it out. But then even for the after party dress, God, Taylor's air, eh? Taylor's. Hmm. They don't call themselves Taylor's designers air. Eh? They be doing anyhow. She did well though. The dress was beautiful, but just that when I went to get it, it was a bit short, so I didn't want to wear a short dress. Even though it's an after party dress, I didn't want it to be so short that I would not be comfortable wearing it. In the end, she mended it. That's one thing about starting early as well and going to fit in your dresses. I had supportive girls. Guys, I even had a bridal shower. I'm not sure I got the videos, and these girls went far and beyond. They actually even did deco. I'm like, honestly, I do not deserve it. They gave me like a book, something you know, with letters from them, you know, goodwill that I can always read. It's something you, it's like evergreen. For every time you read it, something new sparks. One thing I did, I did at my wedding that I really liked was that I had the father-daughter dance with my dad. I'm the last girl, and my dad wasn't going to do it with anybody again. And when my sister got married, they didn't do it because she got married in 2009. That time, we don't know what father-daughter dance was. I'm not sure. It, maybe they were doing 
country, but we weren't doing it in Nigeria. It wasn't something people had already started doing. And we were worried because my dad had stroke in 2019, so he's a bit, he gets fatigued easily. He walks and does everything, talks well, but he gets quite fatigued. So we told the DJ, like, between two to three to five minutes, that's because my dad is not very strong. We can't be, you know, be doing jai jai. It was just a slow dance. But I liked that I did it. He was so happy. My dad literally cried. And we have the same stature, you know, the same body shape, face. I, I took after him. So it was very good that we incorporated that. It was good that, you know, he had his moment at the wedding and he really, really did enjoy it. I had a very small child and a moderate white wedding and I would say that Holy Spirit really did me well. My biggest worry about our wedding was how I was going to dance. If you know me, I don't really be dancing. Like, I think I don't know how to, I don't know how to dance like that. And I hate being the center of attention. attention. So people would just be looking at me, your bride, everybody. Hey! But I said, Holy Spirit, you will teach me. There's something my cousin Choma always says. She always says, the Holy Spirit is teacher. Like, teacher of all things. He will teach you everything. He just made my rhyme. My dance was rhyming. Like, I was dancing to tunes. <laughs> As I'm talking, I'm even dancing. My dance was rhyming. Like, everything was really connected. And I danced. Guys, I didn't have alcohol. Did I have alcohol? No. I didn't drink anything for my wedding, and I was good. Like, I did not need anything to give me energy. I didn't need alcohol to give me vibes. All I needed was the Holy Spirit. And I was just dancing. I was just flowing. I was so great. I said, God, hey, where did this trend come from? Because me, if you know me, I'm so laid back, very chilled. That's what I would sit down, but that day, ah, I was so excited. And thank God, the wedding was a huge success. My we family members were there. And that was why I wanted a December wedding. I wanted a December wedding because I wanted my family members to be there. My siblings, they live outside the country. I wanted my sister and her family to be there. And December would be the only time all of all of us to convey together. Sadly, we lost my brother. But we just had to do what we had to do. But I just feel like if you want a December wedding, just start early. Start early. I did enjoy that we did our wedding in December. No lie. I don't see us doing it any other month. My husband didn't feel like December was the best time. He wanted it to be like maybe in November. But family members have to be. You won't do wedding alone unless you're doing like a very, very, maybe small, intimate wedding. But we, we didn't want to have it with our, our family members that really matter. That's it, guys. So now my status have changed. I am a married woman. You'll be seeing this ring more often. <laughs> If you see me floating this way, you might be hearing a few of my husband this, my husband that one. But don't worry, I will not trick you people. I will not trick you people. <laughs> but that's just about that. So I travel today by 9.30. I leave Nigeria and this Nigeria is sweet. Don't don't believe what they are telling you. Just that security is too much, but Nigeria is sweet. I really enjoy it. Like the actual day to December, I had it. I start work on Monday. Today is Wednesday. Luckily, I rest tomorrow. I start work on Monday. <laughs> I'm so sad. I don't think I remember what happened in that office. I've been away for one month. That's the new updates, guys. I just came on here to update you guys. Whatever this year brings, I'm just here for it. Working in a bus light. That's it. I was going to show you guys my feet. So I came back, I've just been wearing crop tops and baggy jeans, guys. I didn't come back with any pencil trouser. Oh, I need to put on my belt. This one is a bit big. Everything is big on me. Size 8 is even big on me. So, yeah. Just wear baggy trousers. Look at my hair guys, I've made my hair. I can't come back to Nigeria and not make my hair, it's not possible. Honestly, I haven't been posting but my channel has been growing. I'm not even going to lie for someone who's not posting. I didn't post when I even hit 500 and now I'm at 580. 580? Yeah, 580. I'm not complete. 80 persons when you don't post anything. That's like huge for me. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! By the time I see you guys, I might be back in the UK. <laughs> back to the streets. God forbid. Back to the house. <laughs> Okay, bye. Bye, guys. Nelo is going. Nelo, how do you feel? Sad. <laughs> it's a lie. I'm coming like you, sad. Hey, I'm not yeah. Try. Like <laughs> oh, sad, my boy. God. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll see you in May. Like, I'm serious. I will be coming in May. I'll buy your tickets. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay no, don't worry. I'll, I'll buy my ticket now because uh -huh. things are going high. <laughs> It's a morning girl. My cousin is rich. You know. It's a billionaire. Hey! 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 Oh my God! Please, I'll pick it up. Why are you playing? Money. Premium or nothing? Premium. How much is money? I'm using for camera, so it's not so bright. Hi guys, the noise going. I feel like I feel so moist. <laughs> <laughs> I need more. I miss you too, Nelo. I miss you too, girl. See you. Stay safe. Alright, let's say shop prayer, guys. Thank you, Jesus.
Father, we thank you, we worship you because you are God. Thank you for our sister who is Lord. Father, guide and direct your child, Lord. Father, let this her stepping into the UK be a milestone for her in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask that the Holy Spirit will be with her in all that she do. Also, bless her husband and keep her husband safe in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye!